Eduardo Camavinga takes on the extraordinary and is the sort of phenomenon for whom the exceptional has become just a regular day at work. The young midfielder was discovered first when he was 10 during a tournament in Fougere and since then hasn't looked back. On the last day of the summer transfer window, Real Madrid announced the young midfielder's signing from Stade René in a move that will help Los Blancos for years to come. Madrid had been looking for a new midfielder for quite a while and, after being unable to bring in Kylian Mbappe to the Santiago Bernabeu, decided to quickly move for the teenage midfielder in a 31 million euro move. While Manchester United were also keen on bringing him to Old Trafford, Camavinga's dream was always to sign for the Spanish giants. Camavinga has left Stade René as an 18-year-old but had already played 88 top-flight matches for the Breton club. This shows that the midfielder is ready to take the next step in his playing career. At the age of 18, Camavinga is now playing for the most successful side in European football and you can be sure that he will only get better with time. However, life was never that simple for the young France international whose family had to struggle a lot in order to see their son thrive as a footballer. So this is what we're going to discuss in today's show. We will be talking not just about Camavinga the player, but Camavinga the person who went through a lot of difficulty in order to realize his dream of playing professional football. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon in order to be notified every time we post something amazing. Eduardo Camavinga was born on November 10, 2002 in Angola to Sofia and Celestino. The relentless midfielder's parents are Congolese nationals and emigrated from Angola to France when he was only two years old. While he is a France international, Camavinga had the chance to represent both Angola and Congo but decided to take his chances on securing a first-team spot for Didier Deschamps' side. Life wasn't easy for the Camavinga family when they arrived in France. They took up residence in Lille before settling down in the town of Fougere, which was 40 kilometers away from Rennes. Camavinga grew up alongside four brothers and sisters and you could be forgiven for thinking that he was into football the moment he saw a football. In fact, the youngster's preference was towards practicing judo and it was his mother who helped him focus on football. Apparently, Eduardo broke a lot of things while playing combat sports and Sofia had grown weary of having to keep an eye on her son who had way too much energy for a kid of that age. When he was seven, Camavinga's mother enrolled him in a local club named Drapeau de Fougere, where he took his first steps in professional football. The young midfielder still remembers the first day of training with the club and made the following revelation. When I joined the club, I never really recognized the need to meet with the coach. Instead, I rushed onto the field and took possession of a ball that kids of my age were playing with. Not really the most humble person out there, Eduardo says that players were trying to take the ball from him and he kept dribbling past every day and ruined training for them. At Fougere, Eduardo spent four years perfecting his defensive abilities that now characterize his gameplay. His teammates, coaches and opponents have all admired his skill with the ball and his unique style of tackling, so you can imagine the good work done by the local club. At the age of 11, Camavinga's parents agreed to send their son to try out for the Stade René Academy. The trials were successful and he got offered a place among the other young prospects at the club's academy. This was the first step towards becoming a professional and maybe make a name for himself. Stade René is the same club that helped develop World Cup winners Blaise Matuidi and Ousmane Dembele, who's now playing at Barcelona. Due to his extraordinary ability, Camavinga was used to being systematically upgraded and upon his arrival at Stade René, he took to life as if he was always part of the system, wooing away academy coaches not only with his ability on the ball but his willingness to quickly settle down in a new environment and showcasing exemplary attitude throughout his time in various age groups. By the time he was 16, Camavinga signed his first professional contract and in doing so became the club's youngest ever professional. Eduardo Camavinga was handed his debut for the senior side in April 2019 during a league earn encounter with Angers that ended in a highly entertaining 3 all draw. By taking the field, he also became the youngest player to play for the first team at the age of 16 years and 4 months. And while it was expected that he would take time to adapt to the demands of playing top flight football, Camavinga showed that he was more than ready to take the next step and help René punch above their weight. 
on August 18th, 2019, came the moment that would define Kamavinga's career in Ligue 1 in a game against Paris Saint-Germain. Facing a PSG side boasting the talents of Neymar, Kylian Mbappe and Marco Verratti, Kamavinga was a man on a mission and provided a spectacular assist in a 2-1 win. His stats in that game were off the charts. He won 17 duels and made 97.6% successful passes. Kamavinga shone for his team in front of defence and was seen demanding possession from his teammates and ran the midfield as if he'd been playing such high-intensity encounters for decades. Not many people have that ability to do that, but then again, Kamavinga was never just another player. While it wasn't expected that he would put in such displays on a regular basis, it also became clear that Kamavinga was a generational talent who would help his team achieve things the club had never achieved in its 100-year history. Later in the same year, Kamavinga scored his first goal for René in a Ligue 1 encounter against Lyon. He did that at the age of 17 and thus became the youngest goalscorer in the club's history. Kamavinga's hard-working character and determination were put to the test in 2013 when his family had just moved into a new house. Unfortunately, the house burnt down when his father was at work and his mother was taking the kids to school. That was a huge blow to the family and they were understandably in tears. But Celesta Kamavinga, the player's father, told his son that he was the only hope of the family and he was the one who was going to help them rebuild everything. Kamavinga might have been a young player at the time and you could have expected him to crumble under that pressure. But then again, he'd been capable of the extraordinary all his life and decided to take the matter into his own hands and ensure that his family ended up in a good place due to his efforts. Philippe Barrault, head of youth recruitment at René, said that the moment they saw Kamavinga, they knew how special he was. There was not time for procrastination. We saw that he was a good local player, so he had to play for us. Today, the Kamavingas are living a very comfortable life in René and enjoying things in life that they didn't even imagine they would when they were struggling to make ends meet in Angola. And it appears that good things are only starting to happen for the family, with their son now playing for one of the biggest teams in world football. Kamavinga is a versatile, hard-working midfielder who can operate anywhere in the middle of the park. He can play as a regular midfielder, as a number 8, or even as an attacking midfielder. Many people have compared his style of play to that of Paul Pogba, and the youngster admits that he's actually inspired by the Man United midfielder. Throughout his career, Kamavinga has shown an ability to dictate the pace of play. Not only that, his dribbling ability is pretty good too, averaging 4.8 dribbles per 90 minutes last season in Ligue 1. At the same time, he boasts great defensive work rate. He averaged 4.6 tackles and 1.4 interceptions per 90 last season. Not only that, he spent 2,740 minutes on the pitch last season, which is quite a number for one so young. On August 27, 2020, Eduardo Camavinga was called up for the first time to the French national side for the League of Nations encounters with Sweden and Croatia. During the game against Croatia, he replaced N'Golo Kante in the 63rd minute and at the age of 17 years and 303 days became the third youngest player in French football history and the youngest to play for the national side in 107 years. A month later, he scored a goal against Ukraine and became the second youngest scorer in the national team's history. Now at Madrid, Kamavinga has already marked his debut with a goal and it appears that he's one of those players who's always out to write a small piece of history every Every time they take the field. Not many players can do that, but those that do are almost always sure of having a wonderful playing career.